Hi guys! So, for the last few days I've been printing with the new TiVo Flash 3D printer and it's running very good so far. The printer has been running with very little modifications. So far, I've checked and tweaked my VREFs, aligned everything perfectly as i shown in my assembly video, tweaked the acceleration and jerk settings, and loaded a new firmware version. The firmware I installed is the stock one, but with some of my own modifications to it. So far, I didn't see the need for upgrades really, except for the bad stability. Don't get me wrong, the bed can be very stable. The problem are the stock wheels. The stock palm wheels are kinda soft and don't allow much grip. You need to find a sweet spot for the eccentric nut adjustment because on the loose side you get play which will result in a wobbling bed and on the tight side the wheels develop notches that will give you a bump feeling when moving the bed back and forth and that affects the print quality. This is one upgrade I usually do in every printer I have that uses wheels on the bed carriage. You can install these in every axis but for me the most important one is in fact the bed carriage. The wheels I normally get are the extreme wheels from open builds. But this time I decided to try the HD V-Wheel Kit from 3 Device. These are made from polycarbonate material. The bearings are high quality ABEC 5 with colored rubber seal. The installation is very simple. Move the bed forward and access the wheels from underneath. Remove each one and replace them with the new ones. Don't forget to screw them tight. The ones that have the eccentric nuts also include a small washer, so don't forget to put these back on. These are heavy duty wheels, which means that not only they will last longer, but also you can adjust the eccentric nuts with a decent grip to keep the heat bed super stable and will not develop the notches that the stock ones do. The result is undeniable. I get a firm and steady grip, smooth movement and a stable heat bed. Perfect, just how I like it. And that's it you guys, don't forget to hit like and keep following me here on YouTube and Facebook for more cool stuff. And if you like my work and wish to help, you can with Patreon. I'll see you guys next time, bye!